On August 1st of this year, the nature of religious freedom in America dramatically shifted. On that day, the controversial Department of Health and Human Services mandate, which requires many employers to violate their deeply held religious and moral beliefs, went into effect. And on that day, we went from being a nation that preserves and protects religious liberty as a fundamental right to one where regulators in Washington now decide who is eligible for conscience rights and on what terms. Let's be clear, the mandate that went into effect on August 1st was the original mandate proposed by the Obama administration. The mandate many of the president's supporters objected to as an affront to religious liberty. It requires employers to provide and pay for services they strongly object to on conscience grounds. The mandate offers no relief whatsoever for businessmen and women who cannot in good conscience pay for these services. Rather, it tells them that they must check their religious rights at the office door, putting them in the position of having to choose between earning a living or their First Amendment rights. And while some nonprofit charities may qualify for a temporary one-year safe harbor, our government is now sending them this message. You have one year left to run your charities and institutions with religious integrity. Your religious freedom is on borrowed time. This is not a nation where our rights are on loan from the government. This is not a nation where only temporary refuge from the iron hand of the government should be tolerated. The First Amendment to our Constitution starts with Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Religious freedom was written into the fabric of America by our founding fathers. It has been a cherished and protected fundamental right for over 200 years. The HHS mandate issued by the Obama administration is an unprecedented assault on religious liberty and conscience rights. This mandate destroyed a long-standing bipartisan consensus on conscience rights. There has been no accommodation, only a string of broken promises. Ronald Reagan once said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. The duty is ours today to ensure that the freedom of religion exists for all tomorrow. I know America is up to that challenge.